Hello everybody, this is Artash from Incredo and today I want to give you a quick demo on how our HubSpot with Shopify integration works. This demo is specifically for Adam and Colt who were interested in our HubSpot development capabilities. This is a very first demo uh, demonstrating uh, very basic uh, integration between HubSpot and Shopify. So we are going to test it again. Uh, today, so what what I'm going to do is um, I go to API uh, dot incredo dot co and slash register PHP. So I'm going to register an account here so I can connect my HubSpot with Shopify. Uh, my first name, my email. I'll choose a password. Next important step is this is demo. We have to put manually what's our HubSpot API key. In order to do that, to do this, you have to come to your HubSpot portal, uh, go to in, uh, go to settings, go to integrations. Sorry, and then on the uh, on the bottom left, uh, you should see get your HubSpot API key. Once you are here, you should click generate new key. In further versions of the product, we want to automate this, but this, since this is the first version, we have to do it manually. So you put here your HubSpot API key, and then the next thing uh, you need to uh, put here is your Shopify URL. In order to do this, you have to come to your uh, admin portal of your Shopify account, go to apps on uh, bottom left. Yep, and then you have to click your private apps. If you don't have a private app, you are going to create one, which is very straightforward. If you already have one, you should click to your private app and get your uh, Shopify, uh, Shopify example URL. You are going to copy it and paste it here. So click register and you are registered with our integration tool. Alright, so since we have already been registered here, I'm going to sign into my portal. Uh, my email is karen at incredo.com. I'll type my password here. Sign in. Cool, so uh, everything is connected. This is our test dashboard um, on how the integration works, and we are going to show some uh, data and graphs here later. So, what you are going to do, you are going to uh, uh, click update so we have got all our data pulled from HubSpot you can see the latest orders here uh, first name last name and then uh, we can have bunch of columns here as well so what we are going to see now is uh, all contacts from Shopify are, um, are in HubSpot as well These are the latest customers. Their life cycle stage obviously should be customer. We'll work on that. But at the end of the day, the goal is here to show all uh, Shopify customers in our HubSpot portal. Next thing I want to test is to create an order uh, from Shopify that will automatically come to uh, our HubSpot portal. So I'll create an order, uh, find products, uh, products. Let's pick this one. Assuming that I want to order uh, this product, adding to order, and then uh, assuming that uh, I want to create an order for for this user named Abgarian or Ken. Okay. Perfect. So I have created uh, an order for this guy, which is uh, in our HubSpot portal, like this guy. He does not have any order here, so I will create one. Mark as paid. So this customer, I have created an order for him, and this is already paid. So what I'm going to do now, 
a quick update in my Shopify HubSpot tool so it will make an update and once I come here and I refresh all the latest transactions uh, from this customer are appearing in their timeline the next goal is to create a deal based on what product they are buying and much more enhanced functionalities that we my team we expect to have in this product up and running again this is a very first demo of this product that we are creating internally so there are a bunch of things that are uh, that are plans to come in this platform in further milestones thanks very much for your attention hope this uh, this was helpful